inside the war room and you guys are on the clock and it may or may not be the number eight pick. Well, I mean, the draft is so unpredictable. Trust all the work that's gone into it because it is unpredictable. You game all that out. You have so many, uh, it's exhaustive having all the conversations of all the different scenarios. Whether we want to trade out or not, again, if we get a great offer, we're always considering that, but you got to be, all right, got to make that pick at eight. Here we go. A lot of people say best player available, sure, but best player available if you're loaded at tight end, like we feel right now. What you don't want to do is get desperate where you're pulling a guy that you've got down here and then you, you put him with an eighth pick and then it's probably unfair that player if you trust how you the process and how you grade it. Look at this offseason acquisition. Welcome, Jesse Bates. I've been one of the best safeties in the league. Arthur Smith is reunited with John New Smith. How about this one? David Oyamata. When you added so many good players to the team, you, like you say, you don't feel desperate. Well, we're not throwing darts. It's not like the draft day with, with Kevin Costner. It doesn't certainly doesn't feel like that. And it certainly doesn't feel like it does when you're calling plays in a game and you got a 40 second clock. A lot of value has been found in like the fifth round. What confidence does what they have done in their development give your staff about not just identifying talent, but developing that talent. Never about 100%. I mean, there's some things that happen, or you get to the point we're at right now. It gives you confidence, but you never can get complacent thinking just because, hey, we hit in 21 on a certain spot or 22 that we've got all the answers, because you don't. We're human beings that are assessing other human beings, right? So there's no perfect science. It's not a math equation where we say, okay, if we do this, this, and this, then this will happen, and this is the desired outcome. The numbers are what they are. I mean, the amount of guys we have on our roster now going to the draft than we've had the last couple of years. It's going to be a hard competition. Is that what y'all set out to build? The very first day when y'all got in here, we were like, we want to create this environment where it is difficult to get on this team. Yeah, iron sharpens iron like man sharpens man. And the other mindset we have, Tori, is we always look at it like the players that are, the 90 players that are here, they're not just competing with the 90 players here, they're competing with the other 31 teams, players outside the building. Even getting the decisions, you know, assuming that you don't have any major injuries, it's gonna be a hard roster to make. And that's where you want to be. And that's where we feel really good, again, heading into the draft and into the training camp. It is, it's 365, 24-7. We're constantly looking to improve this roster because it's gonna bring out the best in, in the people and the cream really rises in competitive situations.